The previous two times were a bit too high level. I think it's a bit over my head <laughs> as well. Uh, especially Bob's top. And it's fine that I block because I'm very small, I think. Okay, uh, I wanted to show you how to use um, use Git, not in the command line because not everybody has the privilege of learning how to use the command line. So I'm just going to cover uh, <coughs> adding it. So I have a hell lot of projects. Uh, let's look at the grumpy gits. This is a report that we fought from uh, the PDX team, which came down to give a talk uh, in FOSS Asia a while ago. And we just forked the report so that we had a little simple page that looks like uh, looks like this. Grumpy gits dot github dot io. <laughs> 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 okay, technical problem. Did you press spacebar? That's a game. Oh, <laughs> press spacebar is really good. What? It's a game. You know. Okay. It's okay, I think it's too late now. <laughs> so, I can play again. The game. <laughs> I really, really am horrible in this game, so just in the ball, the side is up. No, no, it's like. Okay. <clears throat> so, anyway, that's the website. That's going to be our website. Uh, I don't think I will sign up for an e.sg domain or something like that. I don't think it's worth it, but nevertheless. Uh, go and check out the website. We are looking for speakers. Um, if you are looking for ideas for, for talks to give, there, it's all on the website. Meanwhile, in uh, Source Tree, it has some pretty nice interface that uh, ties up with how you use Git in the command line. It works both on Windows as well as uh, Mac, which is why I recommend them. If you use the GitHub Mac client, that is actually a piece of shit. Whether, whether or not it's a Mac client or Windows client, it's a piece of shit, uh, sorry. But, Could uh, you check elaborate on why? Uh, oh, I don't actually have the installation of it. I, I used to have it, but they do not have a lot of features to help you uh, properly understand how to use Git, even for GitHub's sake. So, for example, you want to create a new branch, the terminologies they use is completely different, like sync files, for example. Uh, they try to rename it to something that's more uh, friendly, friendly uh, but it ha hasn't been very helpful. But. So you can try to check out Source Tree. It's probably one of the better ones. You can look at preferences. And uh, <coughs> if you have this tick box done, you can set uh, your full name and your email address here. So this is, a, this is the tip number one, OK? You can set your. <coughs> your name to any name that you want <laughs> and uh, this this applies to uh, uh, to anything uh, basically yes <laughs> so once you save that you can check out from the command line uh, from from the git config, it's already been updated. My name and my uh, the email will be this. And you can do some random files. Uh, git commit random files. Actually, let me just use the source tree to do it. Uh, you can just drag it in, and voila! You have it there. And you can commit it. You can use a big button right here, the top left hand side, do a commit and it will be recognized as Linus. So, if you look at the history, now you actually have someone who is Linus that's committing to it instead of uh, this guy here, CJ. Okay, that's a random example. 
uh, I can just change it back to my <coughs> and if you can see if you look at the, the git, git config it gets updated accordingly so the dot files get updated updated both uh, it, the same habit uh, the same behavior appear, applies to Windows as well as for Mac <coughs> so that's one thing um, so the last commit there is by Linus and I'm going to make another something random uh, echo blah to this file and I'm going to add it So let me go back to working copy. When the file is added, it has got a new new line right there called touch for whatever reason. <coughs> I can commit this. Uh, if you click on commit, you can do something like <coughs> push commits immediately to origin or not. You can amend last commit, which will override the last commit. Bypass commit hooks. That's pretty nasty, but yeah, that's cool. Uh, okay, they don't have the option of doing it here, so I'm going to do it in the command line. What I wanted to do is the dash s command. Dash s command basically signs a commit. And if I do uh, just dash s, if you see here, the third line, sign up by my name and my email address. So if you do not populate your username and your email address, you will not automatically populate here. So that's the first thing. You can of course also do something like this. Blah. Dash M. Dash M would be the, me the message. Um, okay. Let me just check what are the other three tips I have. I wrote or have this written written down, I forgot what is it. <coughs> um, so that was git uh, number two. Git extras. I want to talk about Git extras as a tip. Um, if you are new to Git, don't use it. If you are not new to Git, go and check it out. It's fun. Mm -hmm. uh, it has some very convenient tools to help you work with teams and to make your life a little bit easier. Uh, it has some really crazy stuff like Git change log, Git history, Git uh, graph. Uh, it's some some wacky wrapper tools around some things that you like to do, but you know, maybe not encouraged to do like git release for example uh, unfortunately internet is very slow here I probably should connect to the local machine no it's okay So um, the, the wiki page is a very, very simple example of a, a list of things that you can do. <coughs> Again, if you are new to Git, don't use this. Uh, learn Git the hard way, use source tree or use the command line. Um, <coughs> so Git extras have a bunch of commands. Git squash is one of them. It, Git squash is not something that comes pre-built in Git because it's not, not necessarily meant to be. These are all where all the random stuff comes in. Git alliance is especially useful. Uh, <coughs> what does it do? Alias? Yeah. Um, if you want to set alias in Git, you do something like git config dash dash global mm. um, alias mm. dot lg, then followed by your whatever command. So this is my, my git alias for lg, which is how you, you get to see something like this. Mm. Now, instead of typing this full command, you do something like git alias space lg and you get the same uh, result. But in this case, it shows the other lgs, which is uh, another command that I have. Um, 
So it's a convenient tool. There's a wrapper around this this long thing. It just makes it a lot easier to type. So it's like an Elias or T Elias. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next, pretty much oh. yes. Uh, I can show you the code if you are interested. Oops. So it's actually as simple as that few little lines. It just takes a, yeah, it's just a wrapper, Elias for that. So this is the place where you find all the special stuff. I've submitted my, my fair share of commits, uh, sorry, feature requests to this repo, so which is why I'm also pitching it. <laughs> so git ignore is the same thing. Uh, git ignore, git ignore will show everything you have in a uh, global file, which is this file as well as anything inside this file. So, so inside here there's underscore site, wst store, start w, blah. As you can see right there. Um, if you are using Mac, you can do pro install, git extra. If you're using Windows, I think, they, they, they support Windows as well, so it should be fine. <clears throat> they have a lot of other stuff which I don't really agree with the uh, practice, so which is why I say don't don't do it unless you know what exactly what they do. Like for example, Git Fresh branch. Uh, I have a habit of leaving uh, files that are uncommitted in my Git repo. Um, I know a lot of you have a habit of Git add dot and then commit it, committing everything. That that is another debate on its own. We can have another yeah, Git. Yeah. Yes, we can talk about that. <laughs> That's also why I'm recommending source tree. So instead of learning how to use git at p, we use uh, source tree. Um, so git fresh branch actually deletes everything in your local repository, including all your local files, except for the .git directory. So be careful when you use that. Uh, it's nice to use, but just be careful when you use that. So just check it out. It's, uh, be careful of what you use it for. Oh, git change log is pretty nice. Um, unless you are a merge master or you handle releases, it does, it basically compile uh, everything, all the commits from the last release until this release and put them in one nice commit message in the history.md file. Something that you might need, something that you might not need, doesn't really matter. Uh, it's nice to have a tool like that. So history.md file is where it's just being written to. Okay. I think that's about it. Uh, later on, when we are at uh, the bar, we're going to play a little game called the Git Game. <laughs> uh, this one. So we're going to drink and play at the same time. <laughs> if you have nothing better to do, okay? So bring our laptop. We're going to do this game. Uh, make sure you get your... This has to be done in the command line, so be prepared. Let's see who is the first to finish. The first to finish will have to uh, do something for the next meetup. <laughs> okay, thank you very much.